Hello fellow language learning nerds! Welcome to my first study stream! Yay! <laughs> um, as a quick intro, my name is Reen and I have been studying Japanese for a few years now. Uh, I'm still at a kind of low-ish level, but, uh, you know, trying to get in a bit of study every day, uh, every little helps. <laughs> it all adds up, basically. Um, da, 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 da. so pa, I thought um, maybe, seeing as it's a Sunday, we can do some studying, but kind of want to do a nice chill study where it's not stressful. We'll study easy things from beginners Japanese <laughs> so that our brains won't be too tired afterwards. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's see. Um... Ba -ba -da -ba. Right, today, let's see, so I thought uh, for today's study, I came up with, uh, came up with um, a theme <laughs> and that theme was school. So that's kind of the theme for today's vocabulary and kanji and kind of example sentences that I'm going to try and use in the... Uh, sent the grammar the grammar section <laughs> uh today's study I, i'm gonna today i'm gonna divide it into three uh three parts i'm gonna go over some basic vocabulary then gonna go over some of some of the kanji that appears in that vocabulary because i love kanji so of course there has to be a kanji section <laughs> and then at the end i might do a bit of uh, grammar and today's grammar is going to be on how to say should do a thing and should not do a thing should do should not do and that's it that is my theme hello question hello matthew <laughs> thank you for joining me today <laughs> um but yeah so i have a little setup so that you can actually see what it is i'm going to be doing Hopefully, you can see my. I've got I've got study buddies here. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them very well. <laughs> but yes, so da, 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 da. hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm writing as well, so you can see what bit I'm at, uh, what I'm doing. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, yes. So I have a few. Uh, da, 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 vocabulary to start off with, uh, with that kind of school theme in there. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's Cliffy. Okay. Oh, good. Excellent. Then hopefully you should be able to uh, see what I'm writing, and it all makes. Oh. Oh no, pen, pen, no. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can you see? There we go. There we go. Ignore that S. Ignore that terrible, terrible S. <laughs> yeah, the pen is camera shy. <laughs> Come on, pen. Don't worry, pen. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go through. How many, what, how many vocabulary have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've nine vocabulary to kind of do let's see ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. here we go here we go all right all right vocab mm -hmm. so i thought very obviously for a theme of school uh first one is going to be student student i'm going to try and make my handwriting nice and big so it's gets you can see it on the camera, which hopefully, yeah, nice and big, nice and big. That's good. All right, student. For the vocabulary bit, I'm going to use uh, both hiragana and uh, romanji. So romanji is basically uh, this. Gaku, 
say so it's very easy for English speakers to see it and read it <laughs> but I will only use this in this vocabulary section otherwise I'll use uh, uh, hiragana but there will always be at the beginning if anyone wanted to join in they would always have this that they could note down so they can reference it if they don't know hiragana or kanji basically okay gakusei which uh, again gakusei gakusei for student um should come as no surprise that i'm gonna put teacher as the next one teacher which I think uh, a lot of people know <laughs> this word, even if they don't study Japanese, which is sensei, yeah. So sensei, sensei. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Yeah, I thought the next, it would, some good vocabulary would be to name the kind of types of schools that you get. Um, which is is uh, mirrors the Japanese uh, and then blah, blah, blah. it mirrors the American school system uh, much more than it would uh, say the English school system, a uh, British school system rather. So first of all, elementary elementary school, da, 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 which is uh, shou shou gaku shou shogaku, shogaku. <laughs> Shou Gako Shou Gako Oh I must remember to add the Romanji as well for this section. Uh da 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 <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to, as part of uh, an extra homework for my for my weekly classes, sometimes I write a little diary thing, uh, which is basically, you know, this week I went to see my mum or <laughs> something like that. And if I can write a paragraph, I'm like, yeah, I'm big brain, even though it's the most basic <laughs> sentences you can think of. So yeah, uh, I can't imagine uh, like some people going to study and like, going to study and then being like, yeah, I'm going to learn Japanese and then I'm going to do university. Oh, oh my gosh. My brain hurts just thinking about it. <laughs> um, all right. After elementary comes middle school. Middle. Middle school. Um, uh, da, da, da. Chugako. So chu, as in eating something, chu, <laughs> chu gakko. Gakko is the school part. You'll see that in sho gakko, chu gakko. So just gakko by itself is just school, 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 school. Uh, chu gakko, chu gakko. Da, 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 da. Then next comes high school, of which many a shenanigans happen in. Yes, high school is a, a little bit different than um, the rest. What is it called? Is it called U? It's called Core. 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 It's called. <laughs> Uh, I remember the first time I I recognised the, the word for high school out in the wild. Yes, yeah, I know, right? So many stuff happens in... <laughs> so many stuff happens in high school. <laughs> if games and TV shows and anime has taught me anything. How does anyone have any time for studying? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I remember the first time I recognised the word for high school in the wild. I was watching an episode of... Um, uh, Boku no Hero, My Hero Academia, and they would there was like a 
a narration for the beginning of the episode and I I recognised the word coco and I was so happy. I was so happy that I missed like the next minute of whatever it was they were saying because I was too busy being proud of myself for knowing one word. <laughs> uh, okay, high school. Where am I? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh yeah, okay. I'm writing, finishing writing this word. Co, co, co. And then I've got, after high school, I've written university. University. Which is... Daigaku. <laughs> Daigaku. <laughs> Daigaku. Sounds so dramatic. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Daigaku. Daigaku. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, the next couple of words I've got. Oh, the pen. Yeah, it's quite a nice little pen. Uh, a uni pen, fine line. Let me see. Let me see what. Uh, let me go back here. Do, 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 do. Uni pen, fine line. I can't even remember where I bought it, I don't think. But yeah, it's pretty handy. They've got quite. Fi I've got this one, which is a zero point three, but also uh, I don't know if you can't see that in the light. Yeah, man. Yeah, I've got a zero point three, but I've also have a zero point two uh, to be extra fine, which I find really useful uh, uh, when writing kanji because they can be so <laughs> they can be so complicated with their with their lines. Like if you have a thick pen, it just like feels like a big smooch, just a bleh on the page. <laughs> So having something nice and thin is a... Uh, I, I do appreciate that. <laughs> and da, 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 da. Um, yeah, so the next couple of ones I've got uh, just a couple of kind of verbs to use later on in the grammar section. So one of them is simply the verb to go. Ooh, to go, I can do a G. <laughs> um, which is just iku. Nice and simple. Uh, da, 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 da. How, how did I say I was going to write this? All right. Uh, iku, to go. Nice and simple. Um, that's just a standard one. But there is also, which, I'm, which I will be using later, is how to put it into the past tense and the negative form. So we're just going to go over that. So past tense is itta. Itta. I-T-T-A. I went and then ikanai for uh, I uh, itta is past tense I went and then ikanai is just negative so I won't go like I I won't go ikanai uh, and we will be I will be using those uh uh, in a little bit, uh, so it's good just to go over that for now. Let's see. Da 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 da. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. There's two more. Okay, I'm gonna do the the other verb here, which is to do. Just the general to do. This is such a useful verb because you can use it on so many. Th One, you can use it in so many situations. But on top of that, you can stick it onto the end of a lot of nouns to turn it into a verb which I will be showing an example in a second. So, to do is suru, nice and simple. Uh, suru, suru. Um, and then we want a past tense of that, which is shita. Shita. <laughs> shita. Shita. <laughs> okay, shita. And then I want just the negative version, uh, da, 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 which is shinai, shinai, shinai. There we go. Shinai, shinai. Da, da, da. All right. So yes, we got to do, and past tense I did star negative I won't do shinai. Cool. And then the last one is. It means study. Da, 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 da. Fitting for what I'm doing right now. And extra fitting. 
because the word for study is benkyo. <laughs> benkyo. Da, 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 da. It's part of my username. Yay. <laughs> okay. Benkyo. There we go. And just how I said the verb to do is really handy because you can stick it to the end of a verb to make it in oh stick it at the end of a noun to make it into a verb exactly what you can do with study so this is just the noun for study but then if you put benkyo suru stick them together and then it is i will study <laughs> yeah see that's that's the well <laughs> it makes sense that i have study as part of my name but after a while of using it i was like oh but wait a minute Reen Benko, does it sound like I'm just studying myself? That sounds very self-centered. <laughs> but it's too late now, I'm sticking with it. <laughs> okay, all right, let's. Okay, so those are the vocabulary <laughs> that I wanted to go over. Da -da -da -da. So yeah, I thought the next part here, let's draw a line under that. Uh, da -da -da. Kanji. I thought I'll go over, over rather, some of the kanji that appears uh, da, 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 in some of these, uh, da, 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 some of these words. So I, they will be popping up again, or at least I will be using them. <laughs> okay, then let's see. Um, the ones I've prepared, ba, ba, da, ba, le, uh, the first one, kind of, do, 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 do. Uh, which da, 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 right meanings for it learning and study so you can write it uh, ba, ba, da, ba. it's this one we, I'll use this one again let's see if we get a good there we go nice and focus uh, study for that one now this is um, kind of like these ones that I've got in brackets, learning and st study, or in, sp in little speech marks rather. Kind of like this. This is the meaning that is attached to this ca to this kanji. Each of them have meanings, multiple meanings, but ne wouldn't necessarily. You wouldn't always just use this if you're writing a sentence. If you wanted to write learning or study. Um, you wouldn't necessarily use just this by itself. I don't know if I'm explaining that right. But anyway, the next one. <laughs> I'll start making words properly in a moment, I promise. <laughs> the next one uh, meaning is school. Um, and that is, let's see, line down, little line. That by itself is a, is a tree. So you've got a little tree in there. There we go. So you got a kanji meaning learning and study, and another one meaning school. And put them together, and what have you got? School. You got school again. <laughs> so the actual word school, which I mentioned earlier, was gakko. Gakko. That is used by putting these two kanji together. So, this first bit, this first one, the learning and study, is the ga, <laughs> the ga bit. And then this one, the second one, is the core part. And together it means school. Gakko. And, is this is where it is. This is where sometimes kanji can seem very easy. So another kanji, which has the meaning like small or little, uh, which looks like this, very simple, three lines, one, two, and three. But if you want to write uh, elementary school, ele elementary school, you just put, use the kanji for small 
and then the kanji we just did for school. Elementary school, small school, small school. Yeah. <laughs> then, this is the kanji for middle. Let me make sure you can see that still. There we go. The kanji for middle, which looks like this. You've got like a little kind of rectangle box and then a line going through it. Means middle. And so, <laughs> big brain, middle school. You just write literally middle school. Yeah. <laughs> no special meanings behind it at all or anything just middle school <laughs> and the same for the next one as well so this uh, da, 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 so the word high or the kanji for high rather is this one a little, few more lines in it so a little bit more complicated but it means high. I imagine them being stacked up pretty high. Um, using little tricks like that to uh, to kind of remember kanji, 100% is something everyone should do. <laughs> but yeah, this one means high. And so, of course, if you want to write high school, which again is koko, that's pretty much it. The kanji for high and the kanji for school. Dun, 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 dun. High school. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, yeah. Putting a little story to the to the shape of the kanji, it's so it it really really helps with with memory. Really really helps. Like uh, even the the one for middle, like drawing a rectangle, and then drawing a long line through the middle. That was simply how I remembered that one. But yeah, though sometimes you have to really work at it to try and <laughs> to try and think of something that will help you remember the shape. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this next kanji uh, means like big or large. Uh, it's this. I always think of it as like being someone who's like stretching out their arms and legs, being like, it was this big. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if you, so yeah, uh, sticking with the theme, if you put big in front of school, da 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 da, big school. You get university. <laughs> university. That's that's the big school. Get when <laughs> when you grow up, you get to go to a big school. <laughs> oh yeah, and there was one more uh, kind of kanji I thought it would be useful to kind of go over because uh, I think I might use it a lot in my example sentence pay uh, section, um, and it is to go. It's one of the first kind of kanjis that I really got um, really got stuck into my brain, really learned it. Because when you're when you can only put simple sentences together, that's that's kind of one of the first early simple sentences you can you can do, saying like, I go I went to the park. I went to blah blah blah. Um, but yeah, so go is so go so this is the kanji for go. And then if you want to, like I did earlier, so just straight up write the verb to go. As if you were wanting to put it into a sentence. You would write that. And then ku. And then ku. Iku. So this kanji is that first sound. I. And then you put the hiragana for ku. Iku. Go. And then uh, earlier I put it into the past tense, which is itta. So use that kanji again for the i sound. Ta. Went. 
e ta. There we go. Um, and then the negative version of that, again, it's the e sound, e kanai. Dun dun dun, dun dun dun, dun dun dun. And that is the vocabulary and kanji all sorted out. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, excellent. I'm going to rip this page. Hopefully it won't make too big of a sound. Ah. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, no. I ripped a page. <laughs> Smooth. Smooth transition. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's go back up to the top of the page. Right, so da, 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 da. now a little bit of grammar. <laughs> okay, I wanted to go over the grammar for should and should not. Should not. Da, 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 da. Because it is nice and simple and and I find every now and again I am needing to use that sentence pattern so I do kind of want to get it stuck into my head a bit more solidly yeah <laughs> so 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 right so to do this we need the verbs now uh, da, 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 da. for should <laughs> oh no <laughs> Oh no, Bulbasaur. Oh, he's gone sleep. Oh, he's gone sleep. Oh, he's too much for Bulbasaur. Oh, you can sleep in the corner there, Bubba. <laughs> Don't worry. Yotsuba. Yotsuba can join us. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. So, the kind of pattern for the verb is either... Uh, past ten, ten, tense, ten, wait, past, right, I'm going to write, <laughs> past verb, um, plus, I will write it in, uh, at Roman G first, past tense of a verb, plus, ho ga i, ho ga i. Or to make it, and that's for should, and to make it negative, you want the negative verb, verb, plus the very same thing. Ho ga i, ho ga i. My little trick for remembering this. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't tell my uh, my sensei. <laughs> my trip for this is 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 um by thinking uh that you shouldn't tell you shouldn't tell hoes what they should or should not do. <laughs> ho ga i uh yeah. Please don't tell my teacher. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> I know, don't tell anyone. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's try and get some example sentences. Um, so, the first, uh, I wrote down a few. <laughs> no, question, no. <laughs> so, the first, uh, the first example question that I got, uh, it's a simple I should do this. I should do this. I put I in brackets because you don't need to say I, like watashi. You don't need to say that in the Japanese sentence. So I'm putting the I in the English bit in brackets just to, rem to remind myself or anyone else that you, d don't, you don't need to say watashi all the time. You don't need to say that. And when I write it in Japanese, I won't be I won't be using it. So, I should do this. So this is kore. 
Kore. Kore o, and then we want should do. This, kore o, then should, uh, or to, sorry, to do, which was in the past tense, which was shta, I did. Shta, and then, oh, ho ga i. Kore o, kore o shita ho ga i. I should do this. Kore o shita, kore o shita, kore o shita ho ga i. If you want to make this sentence a bit more polite, because this is casual sentence, then at the end you can have the option of putting des. Kore o shita ho ga i des. But if it's just casual, you don't have to say the des. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Um, and then, next sentence for I should not do this. So, the exact same sentence, only we're just making it negative. So, the this part... Uh, Kore o, exactly the same. And the hoga i part at the end, also going to exactly be the same. So the only thing we need to change is the verb into a negative form. And that is shinai. Kore o shinai hoga i. Hoga i. And then if you want to make it polite, stick a des at the end. There we go. There we go. Okay, next one. Uh, I should study. <laughs> Another fitting sentence, I think. So, I should study. So, earlier we, uh, we mentioned the word for study, benkyo. So, benkyo. Uh, benkyo o. And then the same as before, shita for the verb past tense, ho ga i. Benkyo o shita ho ga i. Nice and simple. Mm, yeah, I've actually written out um, my notes for this. I wrote them out in a, in a kind of document that I was going to make into like a, a uh, like a, PDF or something and then I was going to be trying to make that available online so yeah excellent idea excellent idea so yeah I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna make it in a nice uh, typed up version rather than my messy handwriting version <laughs> no no one needs to try and work with this <laughs> with this one <laughs> but yeah so saying I should study Benkyo o shita ho ga i, with an optional des at the end. And then because the Japanese sentence uh, doesn't have I in there, um, you can say this exact same sentence to someone else if you want to give them advice. Like if someone's like, I'm not sure what I should do right now, and you, you want to say, oh, you should study, you can say the exact same thing, benkyo shita ho ga i. Uh, da, 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 da. But yeah, let's do practice the negative version of that. I should not study. We're going to be rebels right now. I should not study. Uh, so again, the same for study. Benkyo is the same. Benkyo o. And then we're at the verb. Make it negative. Shinai hoga i. Hoga i. Optional des. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else? The study. Oh, yeah. Let's change the verb up a little bit for go. So, uh, I should go. I should go. Da, da, da. Uh, 
a very <laughs> I should go a very simple sentence but a gaming sentence in Mass Effect <laughs> uh, right so I should go we simply need the verb for this so to go iku into the past tense itta itta and then hoga i hoga i optional des <laughs> itta hoga i i should go <laughs> um i shouldn't go shouldn't go or you shouldn't go or he shouldn't go they shouldn't go you want the go part to be in negative which is ikanai ikanai hoga ii da 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 ba ba da ba da 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 okay and then maybe i thought uh using that same should go shouldn't go just naming some locations might be a good way to to get the locations and get that sentence kind of pa pattern in your head so let's say um i should um i should go to high school i should go to high school maybe you're a teacher in high school and you're kind of fed up about work but you're like oh I should go to high school <laughs> so for this one the where while we have the location uh, at the end of the sentence we want to put that at the beginning so high school koko koko ni the ni part is two the nights of two koko ni and then as we did before, I should go, past tense, I'm putting in the kanji bit there. Itta, itta, ho ga ii. Ho ga ii. Koko ni itta ho ga ii. And let's say, uh, I shouldn't go. I shouldn't go, I should not go to high school. Maybe like someone has a cold or a flu, so they're like, oh, I shouldn't go. Ba, ba, ba. Right, so same place first. Koko ni to high school to not go. Ikanai should. Hoga i. Koko ni ikanai hoga ii. High school to go not should. <laughs> okay, let's try the same, but with. Uh, let's do two more um, and let's use university. I should go to uni, I shouldn't go to uni. Uh, I should go to uni at university and I shouldn't go because it's too expensive <laughs> uh, I shouldn't go to university right so I should go to university right again we start with the location uh, which was dai gaku. <laughs> dai gaku. <laughs> dai gaku. Uh, ni. Dai gaku ni. University too. Itta. Past tense. Hoga i. Use the past tense in this bit. 
I can't in the in the positive version of the sentence. I kind of make it in my head. I kind of feel like I'm imagine that I'm trying to say, oh, like having gone there is probably a good idea. If if that kind of makes sense, it probably doesn't make sense. <laughs> But yeah, daigaku uh, university to went should. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Sometimes Japanese sentence order in comparison to English is just the complete opposite. Yeah, Com complete opposite. Sometimes you do if you're translating, you have to start just start at the end of the sentence and just work your way work your way back. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, right. last sentence. Last sentence. So I shouldn't go to university. Daigaku. Daigaku, dai. Daigaku. <laughs> Ikanai. Negative go. Hoga i. Hoga i. So, should not go to university. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then you can use that sentence to to do like several more example sentences and just change the location for each time for for each one, like mise for shop, mise ni, misa mise ni itta hoga i. I should go to the shop. Um, Nihon ni uh, itta hoga i. I should go to Japan. <laughs> So it's a really uh, a simple one that you can you can practice to really get that sentence kind of grammar in your head because you keep doing it over and over again, but also keep practicing names of uh, locations. So it's a really nice one for for beginners. Um, and yeah, like I said, I kind of studied this uh, a while ago. Actually, now that I've done that, let's, let's see. Boo, 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 boo. Get a bit bigger. So yeah, like I said, I'd studied that ages ago, ages, ages ago, but it's always kind of good to kind of go over older stuff because if you, if you kind of study it and then you kind of think that you know it and you're like, yeah, I know this, but then if you haven't done it for a long, long while, you may find that if you try and go back to it, you're like, oh wait, how does that work again? So yeah, every now and again, it's always good to go back and do some easier stuff, but also It does make for a nice, uh, chill, uh, stream. Uh, well, chill, uh, study session, basically. So, yeah. So, yeah, that was it. I went over some of those. Nice and simple. Some easy vocab. Went over should, should not grammar. I got a couple of kanji in. <laughs> uh, no problem. Thank you for, thank you so much for, um, stopping on by. <laughs> But, yeah, that is the, ooh. If I don't knock my microphone. That was my little stream uh, for today. Um, I hopefully will make another one for next Sunday. I just want to do a nice chill, uh, nice chill study stream every kind of Sunday, I think. Um, doesn't have to be anything stressful, nice and easy like that. And people can just come and have a nosy, just hang out, study this, study something else. It's, you know, whatever anyone feels like. So yeah, so hopefully uh, I will be back here next Sunday. Uh, thank you, thank you, question. <laughs> um, and yeah, so that's it for today. Um, I guess I should sign up with my sign out with my usual thing, um, which is may your uh, grammar be structured and your vocabulary varied. <laughs> But hopefully we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.